Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to the bench. Today, we're going to be going over a bunch of new tools and some tips in part of my tools and tips series. But first, without putting it in the headline, it's a giveaway time, and it's a good one. Oh, man, these things are heavy. Uh, thank you, uh, Robert at Typhoon Paint Racks, typhoonpainting.com. Uh, he supplied this beautiful, restored, refurbished uh, paint mixer. And, uh, yeah, like the video, leave a comment below so I can find who you are. Subscribe and click the notification buttons. And, uh, yeah, you're going to win this fantastic, fully restored look at this. The, he, uh, he rescues these, we'll call it rescuing, uh, from the garbage bin and fully restores them. Uh, repaints, mechanics, everything is done and um, to uh, bring it all back to new and uh, really saving a, a product that we all can use. It, it's good for the environment because we're re, uh, refurbishing a product that otherwise would be uh, dead and gone. But uh, this is just, just, this one comes with just this flat top attached and um, it will shake everything. And of course, you can uh, go uh, different jars. It looks like uh, it's in slow motion, but it's really, really fast. As I said, the frame rate of the camera throws everything off. And uh, yeah, it's a beauty. I love this thing. Uh, I use mine all the time, almost daily. If you put a marble in here or something, you really can hear it. You know, let's see if my, uh, what it does to my. 2K Gloss Clear, which is back in stock, by the way. Look at that. It's like a tornado. Of course, we don't have to mix uh, the clear, but it certainly uh, does its job there. Look at that. I wish I can do it so you guys can see it. Awesome. This is the hardener for the black. Uh, well, while I'm at it, I might as well let you guys know the black is in stock. Actually, it's sold out. It's coming back in stock soon. Uh, it's sold out really quick. This is a great base for your chromes and uh, your metal bases. And you can you know, actually use it a base for anything. It's super shiny, smooth, durable. It's a great product. And the satin is also in back in stock. So all three of my new 2K lineup is in at Gundam Pros. I didn't plan on talking about them, but I reached for a bottle to show this awesome paint rack and they were sitting right next to them right there anyway some lucky guy or girl is winning this baby leave a comment below let me get it out of the way oh man thank you robert typhoon racks for that awesome awesome giveaway okay all right today we got a wide variety of stuff some stuff was sent to me some stuff i purchased and um if i can remember i will let you know which is which uh, these first one I'm going to show you is one I purchased very important all my viewers should buy this product and I usually don't say that and um, it is this right here it's a humidity monitor how's that and uh, it comes in a three pack it's good to have a three pack because I put them throughout the house and um, I put them back in here so you guys can see how they came and here is the one they come with a battery already you just pull her out the little thing that blocks the battery you pick Celsius or Fahrenheit in the back right here. It's got a little stand and a magnet. For me, I leave it on the corner of the bench. And there it is. It's 74.1 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm in the U.S. And it's 70% humidity. The RH is room humidity. Can you see it right there? And now the smiley face is comfortable. See it? It goes to wet. Let me see if I can show you guys. It goes to wet, comfortable, or dry. Oh, it just, look, just sitting here, guys. Look, it went up to wet with the frowny face. Hold on. See it? Now it's 72. So 70 and below is good. You can airbrush in that. Uh, probably no problem at all. But now it's going up. See it? It's, uh, it's really, it's raining here right now. It's thunderstorms, then it's sunny. It's thunderstorms. It's going back and forth like mad. But it's a real-time instant. Refreshes every few seconds. And, um, yeah, this is all this for the manual. So I'll tell you what the levels are right here. All right? Here it is. See it? Comfort level. Let's get this to focus. 
If humidity is below 40%, it's dry. If humidity is between 40 and 60, it's comfortable. If humidity is above 60, it's wet. I don't know why it showed comfortable when it was there. I guess it just adjusted now. Now it's staying wet. But that's your comfort zone right there. It was at 60 uh, most of the day, and um, which was good. Then it started thundering out, and then it just changed, which it's pretty instant. But I keep one of these near the booth. I'll keep one on my desk, and I'll keep one upstairs so I can track what's going on upstairs. Look, you get three, four. Let me get the price for you guys. Eighteen ninety nine. You can also buy a two pack for eleven ninety nine. I will put the link, all the links for these below, uh, the video in the description. And uh, at eighteen ninety nine for three of them, I mean, I have one in the booth. You can put them throughout the house if you want. Um, it's a bargain to let you guys actually know where your humidity level is. And if you're doing a big project, uh, it's good that you want the the proper temp. And um, it's not warm enough in my home now that I put on my central air. This room in the basement has central air in it. And when I turn it on, it drops right down. It, that's why most of the time in the middle of summer when I'm filming, uh, I have no problems when people ask about humidity because I'm in a temperature-controlled room. And uh, that is the room I'm sitting in now. I have, a, I have a vent right above me here for my central air. But today it's not on because we're in that between, eh, don't turn it on. We don't really need it. But then again, this is what you end up with with the humidity. Now it's dropping again. So, yeah. So, uh, and the top is the temp. Uh, highly recommended. Uh, we'll put this in the corner here. Uh, great product. One of the few products I recommend everyone purchases if you're a painter and, um, and a hobbyist. I recommend this. It's a low price item. Uh, I hear the batteries last a year. It's a standard battery that they sell everywhere. And um, somebody said they even got a longer than that. But and uh, anyway, that's my favorite product I've gotten recently. And there it sits, right on my bench. We'll leave it right here in the corner. All right. Next up is just a quick tip. Um, if you're going to clean your airbrush, uh, you can buy this stuff. It's cheap. If you, actually, I paid three seventy nine for this. It's Cutex Ultra Powerful for hard to remove glitter, gels, and dark colored nail polish. Um, it's probably a full strength acetone. Is all it is. If you're using the airbrushes I use in the channel, you're not going to have any worries with uh, solvents ruining, ruining the fittings and the washes. Uh, I'm three or four years into this channel, and I still have the same washes and fittings and all my airbrushes. They're all solvent resistant. So yeah, get this Cutex. It's ultra powerful. I got this at Target, three seventy nine. I'll show you what it compares to. Give me one second. All right. I'm just behind you guys. To me, it makes their own. Very expensive. Mr. Tool Cleaner. Right. This is super. It's like a double strength of their uh, their thinner. But it's basically the same thing you're getting here at three seventy nine. This is big, much more, much more money, closer to the ten dollar mark, eleven ninety nine, twelve bucks. Everything's going up, but uh, yeah. So this is a good one at three seventy nine. You're gonna be able to clean out your solvents anyway of your airbrush. It's a good to flush this through at the last minute, and because um, it dries really fast in the air, it's good to have. All right. Another product I absolutely love. This is a good one. I got this recently because I ran out of a can of air, and um, let me grab a kit that we're going to air dry off here. Get anybody here, just to show you. So, uh, yeah, I got tired of the pricing, as we, as we speak of prices here, of everything going up. Um, the can air is just ridiculous. It's 12 bucks or so, I don't know what it was. And uh, they only last so long, then they get cold, they stop after you've blown out. I was just cleaning out my PlayStation 5 in my Xbox Series X, and um, it gets cold, it stops, you gotta wait for it to cool down. I looked up a better idea, I was gonna get something for uh, my airbrush room, but at least I can travel around the house with this. Check this out, guys. I'm gonna dump all this out right here. Check this out. I don't wanna hit the camera. There we go, there's everything. Look at this, look at the attachments this thing came with. Look at that, looks like a hair dryer. Anyway, it's rechargeable air compressor for uh, blowing out, uh, you know, your PlayStation and now, you know, my kits. So you charge it up. It's a USB-C, looks like. Yep, I charged it up already. And it comes with all these attachments and stuff that uh, if, even if you're just going to be cleaning out your PlayStation or your Xbox, like I said, you can use these also. And uh, if you want to get into the crevices of some of your kits and to get in further... It has attachments. All right. Now check this out. We're going to go ahead. 
and put on a, uh, let's go real tight here. Look at this. All right. Sorry for the noise. But here we go. You hold it down for three seconds, but it has three power zones. Once it's on, you tap it once and tap it twice. So it's one, two, three steeps, three steeps, three steps of, uh, of power. Here we go. So check this out. A little uh, light also. Now we're going to go one more power up. And then one more. I'm blowing everything around here. That is powerful. Man, oh man, I'm trying to talk over it. And it's got long reaching. If you want to get into, say, a keyboard on your computer. See that? You can get in further with that. Hold it down again. And it is powerful. You see it blowing my hand? Look at that. I am blowing everything off the table. <laughs> my price list is blowing off the table. Anyway, isn't that awesome? You don't have to worry about replacing these cans every so often. Press three seconds to power on. Second and third for more power. The fourth is off. It tells you right there everything you need to know. Just get a little container, I guess, to keep all this stuff together. And, um, yeah, how awesome is that? And uh, I tried it on kits. I tried it on Gundam. It doesn't, you know, it's just like the other air. It doesn't blow the parts off, even though it is pretty powerful. You can get right into little crevices with these uh, pointy tools. This looks like it's to blow up, yeah, blow up uh, beach balls and stuff. So isn't that awesome? This was $39.99, worth every penny to me. I've gone through about two or three cans of air this year already. So I've already reached this point. This will last me forever. Recharge it. You can see that it, it glows green inside when it's charging. It's got the LED light. I love this thing. Uh, just got it in, too. I couldn't wait to, to show you guys. Let me put this over here. Let's put the accessories back in the box. Don't want to lose those. Uh, yeah, a great new tool on my bench. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm doing all this in real time. No cuts here. No cuts. All right. $39.99, link below for everything, so uh, don't worry about that. I got everything in a list in order, so let's go ahead and do everything in the order I have, which is this masking tape set, which is awesome. Uh, this is $15.99, 16 bucks. you get all three rolls, all right? It was a 59 feet, foot. wow, look at that, you get a lot here, yep, 66 feet worth in three sizes. We're primarily going to use the smaller size, but you never know what you need. I got this for... Uh, couple of kits I wanted to um, mask off. I was using tons of tape and paper and uh, let me leave this here so you guys can see the product. And check this out. This is the same idea as what I was doing except it's already uh, pre-done for me. Instead of uh, using newspaper and tons of masking tape, you got the masking tape built in here. It leaves no residue behind. Removes, leaves no trace. See that? Sticks firmly, good toughness. Here we go. Now we can find where the tape starts, right? Here it is, right here. All right, I'm going to show you the last time I did something with a tape like this. I did, I'm doing a two tone paint job on a, uh, a Z car, a, a Datsun 280Z. Uh, I'm going to decide if I'm going to do black on the bottom and then silver right across here or the light or the blue. And uh, anyway, you divide the car, you know, in half. But check this out. Instead of going nuts, I'll cut this so it'll be easy to show you guys. Sorry about the camera. And this is what I kept doing. I kept adding tons and tons of tape. But I mean, I'm, not, I'm only showing this, this car here because it, it happened to be handy. It's not the one I'm working on. And there you go. That's it. And now we're going to go right across. I don't have to go for too much accuracy here. Now that's it. Now I don't have to worry about the other car. I had to put all kinds of tape all around. No, it's it's already done because of this. And and this even extends. You can pull it out further and cover everything up. All right. So for the amount of tape I was using, 15 bucks. This is going to last me about 40 kits. You know, and uh, that's the idea. It's just one and done. You're saving time. It's more efficient. You know. So uh, yeah, tape and drape. Love this stuff. Um, I recommend it highly, if you, particularly if you're doing car kits or aircraft where you, you get some two-tone with, you know, big, even a, a, a ship 
where you got the two-tone, usually it's red on the bottom of the hull. You can put this right across, and you're already done. You're ready to go. Just put the tape once. Everything else is masked off for you. All right? Isn't that awesome? There we go. We'll leave that right there. All right. Here it is. Here's the roll. All different sizes, too. I just grabbed the smallest because that's what works for me right now with this demo. Let's put him up there. All right. That is $15.99. All right. Now, a product that was sent to me is under here. Let's take a peek at this. And uh, we'll do a couple other products that were sent to me while we do that. All right. This is the Steady Steady Nipper. Now, I did a, a nipper test, and Steady was in it, and they did well. I liked them. But this is their new uh, top model. Check this out. The package art is beautiful. Was that a ninja? Beautiful packaging. But check this out. I got the cover, the wrench for adjusting, and three springs. One's pre-installed. I guess one's a replacement, and one must be uh, much more stiffer, is what I read. Yeah, because these this is, is it extra spring, really, really strong. And there's one up here too. Let's grab this one. Let's grab this one. Oh, let's grab my tweezers that I tested recently. All right, let's see what this one is. Yeah, it's a little softer than that one. So there's different strengths of uh, spring and tension. How cool is that? I haven't seen that at all on uh, any of these. And here is the nipper. I did test the nipper. I, I do like them, um, particularly for the money. What do I have over here? Let's see. Oh, here, I have a piece of something here. Here we go. So let's see how it cuts these off. It's already cut once, right? Beautiful. There we go. I mean, I'm going to sand a little bit. I didn't get in that close, but uh, there it is. It's smooth. And um, this, as far as price goes, I think it's worth it. It's $36.99 normally, but it's currently 20% off when you click the coupon box. I looked them up on Amazon. That's where I found them. So at $29.99, um, while not, I don't think they're as good as the God Hands, um, they're up there. And uh, at $29.99, the God Hands are now going for $62 or $63. These are half the price. And to get the the uh, adjustable springs, very, very good. Nice nipper. So, uh, yeah, thank you to the company. I think the company sent me this, and they sent me some sanding strips, too. We'll be testing those pretty soon. But, uh, yeah, I'll put a link below for this. And don't forget, if you do consider it, for 29 bucks to get it to 29 you've got to hit the coupon. There's, there's a coupon code uh, on Amazon right next to it. Make sure you check it. And then when you go into the box, you'll see it'll come up as 29 bucks. Excellent. Beautiful packaging. All right, let's put that aside. All right, that one was. All right, Steady Vallejo is next. Here, check this out. These were sent to me. I have found them on Amazon, believe it or not. These are $19.99. The problem is I can only find this airbrush that it fits. And what this is is it's a cap that fits on. Let's get the Vallejo. Here we go, the one we were just spinning. See this? Check this out. What you do is... You remove the cap, you know, obviously. Let me get my pliers here. We're just having fun here, right, guys? Mm -mm. Don't want to get the pliers all wet with paint. All right, got it. There you go. I will leave this right here. And that's it. Oh, got paint on this one already. That's all right. That's it. And you just put this on. And there you go. That is your paint cup. That's it. I don't want to flip it over and get the paint running out. And there it is. So that is pretty cool. All right? That'll be your paint cup. You just take the, the paints. If you get them pre-thinned, just put these caps on them, pop it right in, take it right off. Isn't that awesome? Here's the bad thing. It's only <laughs> It only fits this Neoco, which is all right. It's a great airbrush. Um, and I couldn't find it to fit anything else. Now, I have a product here I'm going to be testing soon. Let's go ahead and grab it. It's one of these uh, all-in-one airbrushes. The compressor, you'll see what it is in a second. There it is. Yeah. It's one of these uh, all-in-ones. But I think because I looked at it quickly that this might fit, and I think it will. And, uh, keep in mind, this doesn't fit the GSI, the none of my badgers, and nothing. It doesn't fit any of my airbrushes. My, it fits. See, go figure. It fits this one. So there you go. It fits this one, too. 
So I don't, I don't know the thread size. It didn't give it to me. It just says Vallejo Paint Feed Adapter. It's all it says. But great idea if it was if it came with adapters to fit all different airbrushes. Then they had something. I'm sure we could find adapters, but you don't want to go too much. Uh, go through with that. But anyway, a great idea. The only problem is it doesn't fit almost none of my airbrushes. Let me put this away. We'll be testing this soon. $35 for that with the compressor. So I'm hoping that works because the price point is unbelievable. So that's a separate test. Oh, let's put this back on. Let's just put this out of the way for now. There we go. So we can move along quicker here. All right. So anyway, I'll put the link below. These are 19 bucks, And if you have an airbrush that it fits, wonderful idea. I'm not quite sure anybody's going to have an airbrush that fits. And maybe somebody can figure out what the thread size is. Um, I'm not equipped for that. My brother's a machinist. He probably has the the tooling that chucks that for me at his shop. I should have asked him for that. All right. Let's move on to a miter box. Check this out. I got some custom work coming. I'm cutting up a car. And uh, some pieces need to be cut exact and smoothly. So I got a bunch of... This is by Zona, by the way. Zona. Made in America, American company. I worked with a place we had to, we distributed these, and these are really, really great. And it's uh, 60 degree, 90 degree, or 45 degree angles for the miter box. We'll check it right now. And it'll cut wood, dowels, plastic, it cuts everything. And um, really good price on this. Uh, 22 bucks, and you get, you get the miter box and this awesome, awesome saw. Really fine teeth. Look at this. And here's your miter box. It's pretty exact. All right. Uh, oops. Sorry, guys. New camera set up here. I'm trying to get used to uh, the camera where it's placed right in front of my face right here. Now, we could do uh, balsa wood. I mean, let's, let's go ahead and try it on this angle piece. All right. Whoa. That was, <laughs> that was quick. Yeah, there you go. Now, you got a perfect 90 degree. Make like a frame. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Let's try it on plastic. Do I have plastic? I'm trying to try it on something plastic here. Hold on, guys. Let me get a piece of plastic. All right, guys. I didn't realize sitting right here, I had a piece ready. This is a piece of a uh, chassis from an old um, Corvette model. Let's see if we can go right across this thing, like really, really cut this thing on an angle. I mean, it's plastic. I don't know. Keep it, I'm holding my hands away. Wow, it really, really is good. It cuts right through. Oh, I thought I cut it. I think I got it. Oh, could have went a little further. Look at that. Right through. And that's a thick piece of plastic. Just trim the edges with a, a file, and you got a perfectly cut piece. Now, this is great for a gunpla. You're going to cut little pieces on angles, and uh, really terrific. Really, really going to come in useful. This is a nice piece of aluminum, forged nice. It's got places for dowels to sit. Let me see if i got a dowel. Here we go. Look at this. All right. We'll go straight this time. Yep. So I held the dowel. It doesn't even move. So excellent. 22 bucks. 20 bucks. You can't beat it, particularly if you're doing custom work. And uh, the saw itself is comfortable. It's nice. It's sharp as a tack. Wow, really good. Really smooth cuts. So, uh, yeah, excellent. Yeah, I got a couple other saws to show you, so let me put this aside. Let's dust this off. Hold on, guys. Let me dust this off. Ah, just like that. Dust it off. Um, yeah, I have a couple others here. This one I've owned for a while. And this one I just ordered because I want a couple of others here. Now, this one's cheap. This green one here is $9.99. Came in a nice carry case. All right, check this out. Now, it already comes with a X-Acto blade in it. I don't know why. I ordered it for saws. Let's take this out. I believe this is all the blades. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, look at all the blades here. They're already, you have to take them off this little frame here. But that's all right. Look at that. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I guess eight blades, including the the uh, exacto one. 
and it's got all different shapes. You can get in little areas. Look at this one here. Look at that hockey stick shape, and it's got teeth on all sides to get into really tricky spots. And these look like they have a little more teeth to them, so to speak. Let's go ahead and uh, see how it works. All right, let's loosen that up. Oop. Hold on, guys. We'll get it. We'll get it. There we go. No, they're pretty, pretty stiff. I was worried that they were going to be too thin. But they're actually uh, not too bad. Very nice cutting, too. Let me get some plastic here. Oh, here we go. Let's try this. I don't want to ruin the bench. Here we go. We'll do right here. Can you see it, guys? It's the shape of it. Oh, it's cutting pretty good. It's a thick piece, you know. I'm going to cut right through and see the quality of the cut. I should Oh, there we go. Oh, very smooth. Very nice. Jeez, come on, man. Focus. So, yeah, not bad. Now, you got different shapes, like I said. And uh, this was a little shorter. If I went longer, I guess I could have cut through that in two seconds using one of the longer blades. But it also has a nice case. I do like this case. And a little blade cover. That one is $9.99. I'll put a link below for that. That is not bad at all, particularly with the blades that come with it. Now, oh, we're going to dust off again. Now, this one I've owned. I do like this one quite a bit. This is from Tamiya. Tamiya's Craft Tools. And it comes with two blades. And the blades are made by uh, Ulfa, I believe. They made a deal with Ulfa. Yep. Let me see if I can get in on this for you. Let's get the lighting here. Where's, oh, there it is. It's right here, guys. Can you see the word Ulfa? <laughs> Hold on. It is giving me trouble today. There we go. Ulfa Japan. Yeah, Ulfa is a Japanese company. And uh, Tamaya does that. They, they get... Uh, they get a lot of contracts with different companies around Japan to make some of their products. Yeah, or Taiwan, I guess Sparmax makes his, makes their uh, airbrushes. Let's try this one. I've been using this for a while, and I do like this one quite a bit. Look at that. I mean, right through. Right through. It's a finer blade. The one I picked over there, I guess, was too rough for this. But, um, yeah, these are great. It comes with both. These are $9.99. You get the handle and the two Ofa blades. Um, really worth it. Uh, I like Tamir anyway, so this is a great quality product it comes with a little sleeve i keep on it like that and a little stopper to keep it from rolling off the desk all right let's get this dust out of here all right let us move on to where are we here dust and drain all right i just got this in i'm going to show you guys i got this from airbrush i love mr hobby it's one of my favorite brands and uh yeah, let's go ahead and try this this is a dust collector and a bit of Somewhat of a moisture trap, but I believe it's just for uh, drain and dust catcher. But it's the light version. There's a there's one that's uh, silver colored, you know, just metal colored, and it's heavy. And uh, this is the light version. I'm guessing the filters fit in here. Do I open it up? I don't know if I want to open it up or not. I think it's in here. It is. I got to get a ply to open it up. Anyway, we'll leave it sealed. But look, it comes with a bunch of filters. What's that? One, two, three, four. And these go inside. This is what traps the dust. It fits in right here. And uh, this goes on the airbrush. Let me grab an airbrush. All right, so now we're using Mr. Hobby. We'll go with the GSI, Mr. Hobby Creos airbrush. Now, I had a quick release adapter on this. So let's go ahead and take that off. Put this on here. One second, guys. Here we go. Got it. All right, cinch that in. It fits good. Wow, feels good. All right. Now, take the quick release, put it on the end. Yeah. And the, oh, wow, what a difference. And I do have my, my moisture trap holding, but this has like these, these little grooves. It feels a little more secure when I'm holding it. Let me grab the hose. See it? I got double catchers. Look at that. <laughs> now I'm not touching that anymore. I'll see if it uh, changes anything, but uh, it's good to have. Any, anything preventing uh, dust or... Uh, Moisture, anything you're getting into the airbrush is a positive. Combine this with the uh, humidity meter, and you should be getting some really good results. 
So there you go. It's really comfortable. So, yep, GSI Creos Corporation Drain and Dust Collect Catcher. All right. All right, let's put that aside. Excellent. And it still fits in my uh, airbrush holder, which is great. Excellent. I'm going to put that on the end of my hose and put uh, inside, of, get it so I can work it with every one of my airbrushes. I think I just got to get an adapter for that. All right, we got a couple more things to go here. And um, one is this brush. Now, I ordered this because I thought it was unique, but it only came with one brush head. And I'll show you what I mean right now. This is Dispay. It's cheap, $6.99, which is a good price for a quality uh, brush. Check this. Check this out. There's the brush end right there. Let's hold it right there. And here is the brush. And it's got this dial. I'll show you what that is in a second. But here's where the brush handle goes. So let's take off the end. It's a really nice size brush. All right. You take this end off here. It's going to have a spring in it. There it is. Let the spring roll back here. Man, everything wants to roll off the bench today. You take this, just drop her in, get the spring that is running around here, put that in here, and put this on. Now here's why I was disappointed. I thought it came with all kinds of size tips, I mean uh, brushes. It just came with the one, you have to buy the other ones. It's a nice, all aluminum, it's really weighty and nice, beautiful brush. And whatever size this is, I gotta look in the packaging, you dial it in, so you know what you're using. A 3-0, see it? A 3-0, a 4-0. So this tells me they make a 2, a 3, a 4, and a 5. So those are the brushes that they make. It should have came with all the tips. And uh, I, you know, I don't even know if they have them. I got this at uh, USA Hobby. A uh, USA Hobby. USA Gundam. And, um, but a lot of display products have started showing up recently in the last month or two in America. So maybe all these products will be coming in. But it really feels good. It's got a nice weight to this brush. I just wish it came with all of those, those four tips. It would have been awesome. But I do like the idea. And at six ninety nine, it's a good price. Um, I would have paid fifteen if it had all the tips. Twenty if it had all the tips, and you would have a nice set, you know. But that uh, is what it is, is what they say. And I will just put this aside here, and I will show you one last product that was sent to me. And that is, we're going to have to clear out a space for this. So let's clear out a space. One second, guys. All right. Bucasso, Bucasso sent me another addition to their rack system. And this one is a paint rack. Look at this. And it fits in with all the others. So I'm going to go ahead and build this now. And we're going to show it attached to some of the racks that they sent me. All right. Let's get this out of the way. This is, so you guys want to know, the GK11. All right, I'll put a link below for this. Um, this is $45. It's got a $5 coupon on Amazon, and I got a code for 5% off this, and I got a code for 5% off the rest of their lineup, which also has, I think, that coupon. And I will put that in the uh, description below. All right, so I am going to lay this out, build it quick, I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to show you this. This looks like, oh man, I love paint racks. So this could be really, really nice addition here to the room. All right. So this is pretty basic. No glue required. It snaps together. And uh, if you want to see them go together, watch my video on the Bucasso racks. I did a whole video on them. And uh, I did like them. But this is a great addition. I particularly want to see what jars this can hold. I think it holds Citadel, so I know what size that is. Gaia notes will fit in there. My paints will fit in there. So, all right, let me pause the camera. Let's get this built, and uh, we'll look at the results. All right, guys, before I even get started, I figured I'd show you kind of how it works. It's pretty basic. It's, it's a lot of tongue and groove and sliding together. So, like, this piece fits in here. It fits in really nice. High-quality board is used. Um... And it's the same thing. You just, you, uh, I, I gotta make sure I get the right racks, but everything snaps into place. Really great. So I want to show you how simple it is that they go together. So now, let me go back and uh, build this up and we'll uh, look at the final result. Let's, uh, 
All right, there it is. And it snaps into any of their models, which is awesome. I'll show you that in a second. Let's see what it fits. It doesn't fit the Mr. Color ones, but it will hold. Check this out. Gaia, which is great because it has colored caps. It holds uh, Mr. Not Mr. It holds uh, uh, Citadel. It holds my Mecha Empire paints, and my paint have uh, what the color is on the lid. So that works great. Huh? A little self promotion there. Um, let's see what else it'll hold. See if it holds Otakon. I don't know if you want that. It does, but you can't see what it is. It really is come. It really is made for uh, the Citadel or anything with a colored cap like that. Uh, I'll grab some more of the Citadel to show you how nice it looks filled in. You know that is great. Look at that. So we'll go a little lower for the camera work here. And um, all right, let me reach over here and show you guys something. All right. I'm going to pull the camera back a little bit. Hold on, guys. There we go. Check this out. I just grabbed one of their modules. i got two of them here. But they all have the same tongue and groove part in the bottom. So they all made up perfectly. And we'll snap her in. There it goes. Check that out. Now, look at that. It's a modular system. It looks like it belongs together. Isn't that awesome? Really good for the Gaia paints or Citadel because you can see the color on the cap. I'm sure there's other paints that fit. I didn't reach around and look around yet. And I guess you can always flip something over, I guess, if you can't see the color one way. But uh, a little tricky with the Otacon. They all look uh, like silvery on the bottom. But anyway, isn't that awesome? All right, I'll put a link below for this. Don't forget, I'll have a coupon code below too. And when you follow the link, there's also a $5 off coupon. Um... I'll have a uh, code for the rest of their racks, too. And I'll show you the other rack I have sitting over here. This one holds the uh, markers. I guess if you want to keep everything paint-related next to it, you can put this one in there. This will snap in the top also, just like that other piece. It's got the same system. So it really is nice modular. You set up your room exactly the way you want it. Let me put that aside over there. And, uh, yeah, that was it. That was the last thing to show you guys for today's video. All right, let me move this out of the way. Oh, man, nice. There we go. Built really well, too. Anyway, guys, let's get the instructions over there. There you go. Another wonderful tour of some tools and tips. And uh, let's uh, come in a little bit more here. There we go. And uh, that is all. I will have links below for everything. If there's coupon codes, like for the racks, I'll have that there, too. Um, follow the links. It should take you directly where uh, I got each of these products at. I hope there's something here you guys um, would uh, want to expand on your hobby shelf, particularly this humidity meter, which uh, ooh, it says get a smiley face. We got a smiley face. Comfortable. So, uh, yeah, um, one, of, one of my favorite new products right there. And this duster is awesome, too. So, uh, Anyway, guys, thank you for the grand tour. Don't forget. Hold on one second. Oh, my goodness. I reach over one hand. Don't forget. Oh, we got to change the camera so you guys can see this so I can say goodbye here. There we go. All right. Don't forget to uh, leave a name. I mean a name. Leave a comment below. Like the video. And that gets you a chance to win this uh, Typhoon paint mixer. I'm not putting giveaway in the headline. No more headaches. I'm done with that. I'm almost done with giveaways. I can't take the spamming and the scams anymore. I don't want you guys affected by that, and it really is sad. Then it keeps you people and fans of the channel away from tuning in because then you start to get uh, spammed and harassed, and that's not what we're up with doing here. We're trying to do this to uh, further the hobby and engage you know, a little bit of a friendship between all you guys. Um, so I don't want anybody being aggravated. That's the last thing I have this channel set up for. Anyway, guys, like I said, uh, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And leave a comment below for a chance to win this rack. I'll, I mean, this paint mixer. I'll probably give it away in a few days. Maybe the next video I'll, I'll announce the winner, and then we'll have it shipped to you. It's really heavy, so we'll ship it priority. So we'll get it in a few days. It, I can only ship it to anybody in America. Uh, sorry about that. The shipping is outrageous. But to anybody within the uh, continental U.S., um, you're up for the you're up for this mixer as a prize. And um, if you can't and you still want to leave a comment, just let me know that. Uh, 
you live overseas or something and you just want to comment. So uh, that helps out when uh, we go to pick a, a winner. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. We will see you in the next video. I got a couple of airbrushes to test and uh, some new paints are coming up and a bunch of new stuff. I can hardly keep up. I even have this side feed master airbrush I'll be testing soon too. That came in. It was all torn apart, but we got it fixed. Let's get Pikachu over here out of the way. I was grabbing him. Anyway, guys. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. Please consider my Patreon. I'll put it as the first link below. It's only 4 bucks a month. We go back and forth. I answer your questions directly. I'll chat with you. If you need a video, if you want to see something in video form, I'll, I'll film it for you personally, just for you, and post it on the Patreon network. Uh, we have a great thing going over there. A lot of friendly people helping each other back and forth. So consider that. It helps the channel quite a bit, particularly only 4 bucks a month. We try not to uh, rip anybody off here. And uh, that's it. Have a wonderful rest of your day. God bless all you guys. You guys are the best. We will see you in the next video.